And welcome back to WCCF Tech TV, everyone. This is Keith again today, and we are taking a look at the new Unigen Superposition Benchmark. Now, for those not familiar with Unigen, uh, you've probably seen them before in the form of Heaven or Valley, but this is their new next generation benchmark. It just launched even despite being booted from Steam. That's a whole different story. We won't be getting into that one here. But what we are looking at is this benchmark and kind of, well, how it performs along the line, our lineup here. Uh, we did do all of our testing on our 6800K test bench at 1080p. Now, they did have a preset for 1080p medium, 1080p high, and 1080p extreme. They also did 4K and 8K, but we didn't really hit on those because they're quite, uh, well, they're rough to run. But we did run our 1080p medium along all of our Polaris and Pascal cards, minus the GTX 1070. Don't worry, guys. That card is on its way. It would have been here for this test despite some shipping issues. But just like previous uh, Unigen Heaven or Unigen Heaven and Unigen Valley, we do see an advantage of the GTX cards at 1080p medium. Even the 1050 is, uh, well, quite a bit ahead of the RX 460. And then the 1060 is quite a bit ahead of the 480. Now, if you want to see this in the form of scores, we'll put that up on screen for just a moment because it does give you a score at the end of the run. And when we move up to 1080p, we see that... Uh, that spread narrow as the workload increases on the GPUs. So we see it go, you know, the, the margin between the 460 and the 1050 shrink a bit, and same thing with the uh, the 480 and the 1060. And then the scores, again, start coming a bit closer in line and a little less spread out than they were before. But moving things into 1080p extreme, we see that gap, almost disappear but we still do see the Nvidia cards holding a lead and the FPS and the score which leads me to believe that maybe this this benchmark might be best left for comparison between generations of cards so going from like a, a 1060 to a 2060 or a 470 to a, a 570 maybe that's maybe that's where this benchmark will come in best use but you know, this it's a really neat benchmark. I do recommend anyone who is interested in pounding the daylights out of your system to download it and give it a shot for yourself to see kind of where your system stands. So with that, I will let you guys see what the entire run of the benchmark running on our GTX 1080 and uh well at 1080p extreme because it is quite extreme to run and if you found this video informative or entertaining in the least feel free to like and subscribe and leave a comment if you have any questions and as always we will catch you in the next video